So, we noticed that Ross's character actually has a phobia. He's afraid of the dead. And I have these nifty little cards, condition cards, for the dark eye. And they tell me, now that you have level 2 of fear, you're scared and you have to um, have, have a minus 2 modifier on all your checks. Which is pretty heavy for the dark eye. Yes, I am not pleased about this. Yes. <laughs> I can't help but noticing that you're shaking violently. Your knees are knocking together and you're biting your nails. Mm. Do you think, babe, I mean, we could have attacked these undead, but... I think we should go around them, maybe, Your Honor. I, I, I don't think they've seen us, so maybe we should just carry on. Do you think that's a good idea? Uh, indeed. Uh, okay, you, you, you go first and we'll follow. We'll, we'll get away from the nasty undead, don't you worry. So be it. Okay. So while we're walking away, <clears throat> I ask you now that you experience that for yourself. Do you remember asking me why we're laughing so much in Tobian? <laughs> yes, I take your point. I take your point, Oscar. So what about the slimy trail? Yes, let's, let's follow the slimy thing. Whatever it is, it's not undead. I had dead things in it, is that okay? <laughs> um, yes. Okay. I, I think it doesn't have a problem with it if it stays dead. Okay, yeah, fair enough. Yes. Yeah, so we're going to follow... So you... Follow the slime. Go trail. around... Yeah. It is a... The, the two undead. They seem also... You know, we've been watching them for a few moments now. Seem also very sluggish and moving mm. very slowly, and not daring to step out of the darkest shadows because mm. sunlight will hurt them. Mm. And usually, the priests say that the light of the sun, which is the light of Prius himself, will just burn their mm. foul essence away. Which was why the the Warunkai, where the undead black dragon Razazor ruled, was under permanent cloud cover. Mm. Because that was, that was basically a land where nothing ever died. As soon as you dropped dead, you just got up again to serve the Black Dragon. Mm. We shall keep them in mind, though, to free their souls on our way back when your brother is safe again. Yes, yes. You, you can take care of that, Sarfried, if you want. The priority must be your brother, Your Honor. Absolutely. <clears throat> you follow the, the slimy trail for another hour until you finally spot where it ends and there is a blob that in, in the middle is kind of sh like, like conically shaped and the top is maybe up to the height of a man but it's a huge glimmery mass that stretches out several meters, several steps behind the main mass of the body just coming along and it forms small tentacles, arms, just small pseudopods, grabs something and moves itself forward all the while on the pieces of, of underbrush and grass that it grabs onto wilt and some of them just flock away and drift into the inside of the creature. It's basically see-through, you can see some structures in there and you see um, the biomass that's just slowly Taken, getting taken apart as a milky substance in there. And you see a few darker spots. But thankfully, nothing that resembles a full grown human. An entity right out of the sphere of demons. Mm. Surprisingly, I do not feel any fear for such a creature, only disgust. Is it moving away from us? It is moving away from you, further okay. north. So. So it doesn't have eyes. It doesn't have ears either. It's very unlikely to give us any information about your brother. Well, it's not, sure? it's not what I was getting at, <laughs> Are you sure it's just an animal and not a, not a demon? Hmm. Sphere lore might be the yes, thing I roll for that. Yes, we can do that. That's, that's why you roll on. Could also, this be to know things about demons? some form of demon? And I am going to pass that thing like crazy. Really, you, you're really good at Sphere Yes, yeah, so I'm, I'm exceptional. Sphere um, lore is knowing about the wor inner workings of the world, about the different spheres of existence, and also a, about demons. That's by, uh, by two. 
two qualities. Ah, this foolish man. No, of course that's not a demon. It's a natural creature. It's probably not even a chimera, but something that developed naturally. Now that I study it more carefully, uh, Seyfried, I am able to say with confidence that it is not a demon. Maybe we should just leave it be then. It does not get us any closer to the goal. No, but it's kind of in the way. Is, is, it, is there like a way around it, or is it kind of just blocking it? Well, you've been following it. Yeah. And me as the game master, I'm not sure where else you want to go at the okay. moment, so... So we just found this thing. Okay. You found this thing that Perhaps there's following. a clue inside its body. That's what I was thinking, because... Or maybe it is following the trail of your brother. Hmm. Maybe it smells him? Or some other means of sensing its prey? It does seem to be moving in a certain direction. True. As you say that, it stops. Comes to a wobbling, un... very, very <laughs> unstable stop. And the whole mass is flopping slightly around and then forming smaller pseudopods. It kind of looks like it's tasting the air. In our direction? Don't In all directions. <laughs> for, for a few is moments it? it has a small crown of, of wobbling things just sticking out of its head. Hard to tell with the creature. I wonder if this is the source of that horrible smell. How far is it away from us? Um, still about 50 to 80 steps away from you. Stay at a safe distance, it's would say. Okay. Stay absolutely still. Try not to breathe. I think it's trying to sense us. If we say stay still, it, it can't see us? I, I don't know how it works. It's just... If it's not even a demon... I'm just going on a hunch. I don't think we need to be afraid of this creature. Like the same way we wouldn't need to be afraid of a lion. A lion is much quicker. The thing... It's still very dangerous. The thing flattens out and spreads over uh, a larger piece of land. And it seems... It almost seems like, like indecision. It, Parts of it creep this way and then back, and then other parts creep. It another seems to way. have lost the trail, Your Honor. Wow. Well. Hmm. And then a movement like a wave goes through the creature and starts wobbling in your direction. Does it reform, or is it still in this kind of? Thing? No, it reforms. Okay. I believe we should prepare yes. to defend ourselves. Okay, well, if no one minds, I'm just going to shoot the damn thing. Um, <laughs> I believe you were in charge of this expedition, Your Honor. So. Well, I, I'm always... <laughs> this is not a democracy, but I like... <laughs> I like advice. Do you think this is a good idea, gentlemen? It seems as good as any other. Okay. So you. up to you. So you're trying to hit that thing. Fire! <laughs> I will light sorry, my staff on Sorry, fire. that wasn't right. Loose! <laughs> <laughs> you okay. can actually aim to make your shot a little easier for, for you. Um, thing is, that creature counts as large. Mm -hmm. And right now it's still far away, and, but that balances out as a plus two in your favor. Ooh. Because it's just big. Okay. So you roll on your ranged combat. My bow, I believe. So I just need to get under 10, because that's what I've got here. Well, under then 12. Then right now you have to roll under 12. So that's two. Good job. Fuck, I'm going to re-roll that. Gonna... Really? Okay. Yeah. You're going to be surprised. Um... Five. 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 And now you're going to... <laughs> These are the Ooh. hit zone dice. And as a running gag, that finally was ported to plastic and produced en masse, there's a hit zone die for Amoeba. So it shows the same this, symbol on every side. Camera. Yeah, it's the, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to roll. If you hit the blob or the blob. Oh, you hit oh, the body. It's blob. It's a, I hit the blob. It's, it's, it's. The arrow flies through and it strikes the blob right in the blob and it disappears inside without Doing anything. Oh. I think you've um, merely fed it into a, a small morsel. Run! <laughs> <laughs> That's your reaction. Yeah. Run! Leave! <laughs> I 
and retreat your, at your command, Your Honor. I will see if a sharp sword has. I think more it will eat your sword. Let us see if it eats magic. Ignaphixius! Um. You'd probably have to get a little bit closer. In fact, this, I think, has uh, 16, six, yards. Six, 16 yards. 16 yards is the range. Okay, yes. so I... So you walk towards it very dramatically and yes. cast your spell. Eat me facts. Yes. I will stay by your side and I will draw... Your swords. Both my both swords. Your swords. Because you have <coughs> chosen chosen one of, of the rules from the Companion. You have still chosen a fighting style one that is um, specializing actually, in two swords. Uh, no, this uh, I don't have a fighting style for fighting with dual weapons. That is just a special ability from the core rules. Okay. Um, but I only have level one in that. But the, my character is ambidextrous, so uh, whenever I choose to attack with both swords in the same combat round, I have to take a minus one modifier on both my attacks and my defense. Okay, um, but you do have a fighting style, right? I do have a fighting style, but that's for unarmed combat only. Oh. So Which is not I'm, going to help you here. Not here, but whenever I fight um, unarmed, uh, I use little mean tricks uh, and uh, parry with uh, elbows and uh, <coughs> dagger hilts or uh, mm-hmm. uh, glasses in a bar fight. Uh, so when someone is fighting me, he um, will injure himself okay. uh, by parrying my attacks or by getting parried by by me. Okay. That sounds... And I have the special ability of the headbutt <laughs> with which I can it's cause ability. with which I can cause levels of stupor um, if my opponent doesn't pass a check in um, in uh, self control. Actually one of my favorite add-ons to the game is mm. is uh, the game master screen and it comes with this booklet Inns and taverns, and there's rule for alcohol, for drinking, for carousing, and um, things such as like that. But there's also rules for bar fights, where you can go for a headbutt or just for a lot of open-handed slaps and things like that. So, so Myri, um, yes. the Ignifixius spell has a casting time of two actions. It seems like we're not in a hurry, so no, I don't think I need thing to is speed that not up. Very fast. You can just. We can just say you spend the next two rounds walking towards the amuba, preparing your spell and just loosening it. You can actually take your time <laughs> by doubling the time to, to use Yes, spontaneous spell. modification. Then and that will give you a plus one modifier and make it easier for you. If, if that's, yeah. what, if Mario says that's fine, then I will do that. That's absolutely fine. All right, so here's the roll. All right, so that is a pass. Yeah. Spells you have. Uh, that is Spells work like a skill check. Okay. It's a 15, but... It's a plus one, so you have to roll against 16, 16. so it's only three points over. All right, and uh, is there a skill modifier for that? Um, you mean a skill value? Skill value. Yeah. Your, yeah, your... there should be a skill value for, okay. your, for your spells. So, so it's three and... That's fine. The effects is you have... Seven. Seven. Wow. So I passed by two degrees on that one. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. And you should have um, you should have noted down what damage the spell does. Damage right. mm-hmm. for the Ignifactus is two d six plus two times the quality level. So four. four. So four. four. Yes. Exactly. And um, he is. It, it it hits automatically if he does not dodge. Um, that thing doesn't dodge. Okay. It's uh, dodging against an effects is uh, so, not so easy. That will be eight points of damage. Now, the visual effect is I will sort of gather the flame from the head of my flaming staff and hold it out like I'm sort of making an offering, but what leaps forth from my palm is sort of an arc of, of flame, like a miniature mm-hmm. comet that goes splashing into it with this burst of sparks and, and, and ashes. And actually, it, it, splashing is the right word because it sinks into the creature and then bursts apart and it's, it, uh, throw, bits of the creature are thrown into the air and everywhere around it and just rain down with a, with a sickening sound, like mucus being flung everywhere. And it makes a sound, you're not sure how, it vibrates and there's a, it's a high, almost unhearable keening in the air. Is it flammable? Bits of it that are raining down are in flames, yes. Johnny, yes, good show! It's flammable, I can light it on fire. 
If you roll I think one, three. Each, you, 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 um, That's right. It will keep burning. Go ahead, yes. It is on fire! It is on fire, so it's going to take damage right now. Ha <laughs> I will look quite satisfied with myself and puff on my pipe. Well done. Jolly good show. Looks excellent from over here. <laughs> British I will, ability. I will keep an eye <laughs> on, the, on the amoeba to see if it's uh, maybe now fleeing it's... from the sight of battle. I believe it found the taste of my spell a bit too spicy. What? <laughs> <laughs> what it's trying, what you can see is that it um, actually tries to to push part to to part itself from the bit that is burning. So at least some of mm. its mass behind just running, becoming some runny, slightly burning stuff, mm. and the rest just gathers to a smaller amoeba and starts to slither away from you. Well, that's that then. <laughs> What, what should we do next? Um, did it leave anything behind? You can look at the pieces. Yeah. So, you try to sort through them or just take a look? Well, I'm not going to touch it. I'm just going to look and see if there's anything. Okay, wrong perception. Floating. No, I'm going to use the dark eye dice cup. <laughs> the dark eye dice cup. Available now, but game's still near you. Probably. Maybe. Dun dun dun. Mm -hmm. I'll keep me to look at your character sheet. Uh, perception is sagacity, intelligence, or sorry, intuition, intuition. Intuition, intuition. Yeah. Sagacity, intuition. Okay, so I think I pass, but with no nothing left over. But it, but it is enough. You. Yeah. Zero points left over, or still 111 it's still, quality. yes. Okay, right. Um, you see something that catches the light from the burning bits of mm -hmm. amoeba around you, and glints golden in the remains. Mm. Okay. You would have to, to grab it, or just... Can I, um... I don't have a knife. I have my long sword. Can I just kind of yes. poke the... <laughs> you can poke it in there and try to lift it out. Yeah. Very dignified. Yeah. Um, we, are, we are the very picture of the brave adventurers at this yes. moment. It's a short, it's a short <laughs> gold chain um, that probably was longer because it seems broken. Okay. And on it there's a small pendant in, in the form of um, a winged sun. Dun, 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 dun. Which is so the symbol cool. of prize. Okay. And you remember that it was a gift of your father to your younger brother oh, when okay. he started his novitiate. Right. And just turn it around on the back, there's a small... To um, Hagen. Yeah, there's basically to, to Hagen. Make me proud. <laughs> your loving father, Newborn. Yes. Newborn. I'm sure that this new career will suit you on a path, <laughs> a long life and... Uh, How and big running. is this? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> It's a very tiny script. <laughs> but it's de it's de it's definitely the amulet of your brother. Okay. Okay. Pocket it. So, this thing has picked up something that belonged to my brothers, to belong to my brother, or to my brothers. I've just got the one. Um, Are you sure you still have him, Your Honor? It's a bit macabre, isn't it? Well, <laughs> if that was one of his belongings... Yes, your command, I will slice it open to see if there's more. Well, there were no bones in that thing. If, if he had been eaten by that thing, then we would have seen his bones and more of his belongings. You should, have, you should ask Adeptus Draconius. He seems quite knowledgeable in creatures like this. Animal law? Um, well, I am actually not very good at that, but I will, of course, attempt to see if there's something to, in my they're, brain. They're, they're, you had lessons on natural creatures and how to kill them in I, Andergast. I will pass. Pass. I fail. And... I fail. So you just put it out there. If it had my brother, we should, would have seen it. I'm sorry, I failed. You yeah. failed. So I, none I, of you I will, sure I will stroke my, my, my chin thoughtfully for a moment and then 
I'm afraid I don't know. I fail as well. My charisma is just too average. Do I know what exactly my brother had on him when he left? Like what equipment he had? You, you haven't asked anyone. We could go ask the girl. She seemed to know quite a bit. Well, she's gone now. I told her to go back to the inn. We could. I've still got her basket with this hole in it. We could try to look for the, your brother's tracks. This thing moves quite slowly and we followed its tracks all the way here. The tracks of your brother and the tracks of this thing must have crossed at some point. Maybe we can find the spot where they have their encounter. Yeah, Safri speaks point. sense. That's a good point. Maybe he lost this on the path, and at some point this this slime thing picked up his picked up his uh, train. The slime the trinket. slime thing had has stopped in his in its flight. Live in hope. About a yeah. hundred yards Live away, quiver a quivering mass somewhere in the shadows. So I will. Turn around, follow the track of slime back the way we came. I think we should look together. Yeah. Looking for tracks, for human tracks, yeah. left and right to the to the path of slime. Okay. Yeah. We're, we're, Anyone of you good at tracking? We'll all go together. Not I. I am. Um, Spoon. I'm not very good at it. Um, I suppose we can both give it a shot. But you can also work together on this. Really. Yes, and, and pool oh, together. Yeah, okay, so we, we all roll our checks and we pool our quality levels. Yeah. Well, I don't have any to give you, well, but I like passed the test. Roll, so yeah. That's one, one, one quality, quality level. So I can give you one. 12 for courage, 14 for intuition, and a 3 for agility. I have intuition only 13, but I have two skill points. So I have one quality level as well. So that's two. Yeah, that's two. two. I don't think I have any quality levels because I can't find that one. Your 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 faithful henchmen have <laughs> worked together. <laughs> so you probably so actually, Ross, if, it, could, if it's not noted down there, there, you have to like you have, you have zero skill points, but you can still roll on it. I think this sounds like a great time. We will you want to ship in? Yes. So Both we have four levels of quality. Extra quality level. Well I got a five, a nine, and a five, so That sounds good? Yeah. Probably. Yeah, none none of my stats are below a so, above a 10, so that's a pass. You have another level of quality. That's, five. Five. that's pretty good. Yeah. So let's continue. Is it getting dark maybe? Um, it's, it's actually the cloud cover, even in between the thickets and when you're underneath the trees, um, it's, it's getting darker, but not because the day is, is coming to an end, but because above there is a cloud cover that's getting thicker and thicker. But we still have enough rolling. daylight to look for tracks. Yes. And my staff yes. is still flaming, just in case yeah. we need that. You extra. have light, so, yes. Look, I believe this is one of his footprints. You're still not quite sure. Well, he has to have come this way. Otherwise, it makes no sense that his amulet would have been inside the amoeba. But right now, you don't have a definite trail. You've found some, some hints that maybe something else was here that was not just an animal or a deer half a footprint here someone stumbled and and righted themselves with a hand on the ground on, in another place mm. i can give us an, another level of quality oh yes with the you may all re-roll this works like that um, i said kind of every five minutes or every 15 minutes you can re-roll and this is you can reroll the five minutes that you've been searching. There's not. There's no spell in your. Uh, I can portfolio that no. really helps in, in this. A two and eight situation. is an eighteen. Yes, I thought I might be able to read the thoughts of a creature if we, if we could find one that could think, but I don't think the amoeba would be. A... Probably not. Usually, you need to have something something resembling a brain. But I could create a light that might help us um, see things yes. in the darkness here. So I will attempt a glow sphere spell. That's an easy one. It's one of the oldest spells Ooh. in the Dark Eye. Well, that's a fail. And you managed to fumble it. <laughs> I managed to fumble that one. Well, you can, you can always... You only rolled 120. It's so. true. It might, it might still work out because can always everyone knows this one. Um, it's on sagacity, so I'm within... What's, what's your level of, uh, of skill? You have three levels of, of skill. So you you could have 
You would have passed if you rolled an 18. Yeah, but I didn't. But not a 20. So, right. you, so now you have to pay half. You snap your fingers cost. and you speak the words, but the magic does That's not really coalesce into the light you're used to. Mm. That's very embarrassing. Something in these woods does not like the idea of more light. Mm. Around well, here is... If, if first we, there's a deafening silence around you and then, then wind that goes through the trees. Only thing is you don't really feel any wind, you just see the tree slightly swaying and there's a rustling in the mm. tree tops. You can always try again, but you will get a minus one modifier because you kind of lost uh, the, the trust in your in your own skin. It is, it is not Re-go critical for, that we have this thing. Go so. for the next try on tracking. So did anyone accept no. me at a level of quality? They were failing. Ah, we're change. trying again for tracking. I, oh, I rolled. One, 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 I believe it's the third, third time. Third time. Okay, I'll try again. Looks good. Oh, yeah, it's a pass. But it's still only one level of quality. I passed. But we've reached eight levels of quality, and that means that you get a partial success Yoo-hoo. when pooling things. And so you find the first few uninterrupted steps, uh, footprints in the ground. There it is. He always had big feet. Crossing over the trail of the amoeba, and they seem pretty fresh. So we have the trail of the lost problem. Perhaps you are. Maybe we find him. Your Honor, he may still live. Next time.